We are on our way yeah. to uh, Africa Arena, which is a African French tech convention. And the questions are all themed around why is an Africa playing on the tech scene? Hey! Let's go! Bet! Have I gone too far? Do you detect something different? If you look inside my head, would you say something's missing? If you could give all your riches just to say the word, would you risk it? These politicians so old can't tell if the dead where they living. Pride. Whoa. Said I'm at my prime. I've changed the talk and I haven't told them, so um, you're the first people to know. Um, I have decided to go with a different theme. What usually determines our success is the type of questions we ask. And I am highly frustrated with people asking me the same question around this. As Africans and South Africans, what should we be doing? And that already boxes us into being South African and African. And for me, it's we are global citizens. Every morning, that's what I do is I make sure that I've got my intentions clear for the day. And without any intentions, you have no real direction. Please put your hands together for trade specialist, innovation strategist, global speaker, best selling author, John Senna. The biggest elephant in the room for me is whether we see ourselves as architects of the future or victims of it. You see, Einstein said it best. He said, if I was given 20 minutes to come up with a solution, I would spend 19 minutes devising the question and one minute answering it. So how much time as Africans do we put into asking these questions that stop us thinking ourselves as Africans, but becoming masters of the art of global citizenship? You only can have global success, not African success, not South African success, global success. But to, in order to attain global success, we need to start asking the question differently. Thank you for your time. Well, I think I got my uh, point across. Uh, my comfort monitor wasn't working, so I didn't know how long I was actually going for. Um, but I think I landed the point around the fact that our perspective around global citizenship is necessary instead of looking at ourselves as Africans. I'm sick and tired of boxing myself as an African. I'm not. I'm a global citizen and everybody should be doing that. Have you ever loved someone so much you would do anything for them? Yeah. And How about you... start with yourself? Exactly. I love that. that. Exactly. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. So what is this uh, idea around uh, combustion engines being banned in France by 2040, Norway 2025, Germany 2030? And that's going to start relating to the fact that electric cars are becoming cheaper and cheaper and cheaper by 2025, less than $10,000 as a trajectory. Who are you going to be selling oil to by 2025 and 2030? It's almost like uh, adopting a behavior inside an organization and start celebrating experimentation and celebrating rather than say and, and I excuse my French I mean, no, my French no, no. I was gonna say I call it horny teenage boy syndrome and I'll tell you why is that you know companies got amazing value systems we're all about innovation collaboration teamwork oh you didn't reach your quarterly profits go and act like a horny teenage boy in a nightclub what do they do they just need to get profit and so what happens is businesses sit in a schizophrenic personality state. We're all about innovation, collaboration. No, 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 no. We're all about profits. Let's just focus on profit. And that, that behavior inside shareholders stops people from innovating. Yeah. And it's, yes. and it's got a shift. That's got a shift. Yes. I do a talk called Mastering the Art of Disruption. Right. And I take through people the sort of idea of what is disruption. Yeah, yeah. How do you step one step ahead of it? So it that's my amazing favorite talk. Because as you describe, it yeah. seems to be so obvious. Yeah. But we never thought about it like this. So really, yeah. congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank I really you very appreciate much. it. Thank you. Thank you. Said I'm at my prime.